having to be kind of be thrust into some major action in some tough games? Well, I was always told to to be ready when your number is called. So throughout the season, all last year, you know how T he got hurt a few times and had to start in big games. So I just reminded myself like every week, every game day, just stay stay focused, stay in my playbook. You never know when your name's gonna get called. And there you go, my name was called, and I was prepared and I was ready. What what, what was that moment like when uh, you realized you're gonna have to? You didn't play very much at all, and then you had to start against Oregon in the bowl games. Game. Yeah, I just <laughs> that's how I prepare. I just everything's a, every game is a big game to me, really. Like nothing changes, so I just trust in my technique and just playbook is the main thing with me. Yeah. Like you have to know your playbook. That first start, do you remember being like I don't want to say scared, but being like, oh my god, but, this is a pretty big deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But then um, I was on kickoff as well, yeah. but they took me off kickoff because usually when I'm on kickoff, I run down, get that feeling, and I'm yeah. like, dang, I, I'm not on kickoff now, and I'm just starting. <laughs> but the first drive, I'm like, oh, okay, this is what this like. So, yeah, and I, then that o- was good. Oklahoma State, obviously, you had much of the crowd against you, probably oh, yeah. more than the bowl game. <laughs> too. What was that experience like? Well, that you know, that environment, that was crazy. The fans hitting the, the walls with the, the paddles and yeah. stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I like this. Like, <laughs> I, like, I like that pressure. Um, but yeah, that environment, I, I like playing in environments like that, though, big games like that. Like, it just, it just makes me like focus. Yeah. It reminds me to focus. How much do you think it helped you to be able to start some games as opposed to if you just played as a backup and gotten in, if maybe Tyler had gotten hurt where maybe you knew during the week you were going to start and you got to prepare for it? Um, honestly, I really don't even know. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I can't even give you an answer on that one. You should have told Tyler, like, to get hurt against an FCS team or something. So <laughs> <have played>. <laughs> nah. <laughs> is, is, is it, was it hard to wait your opportunity at all? I mean, especially uh, with the exception of, you know, just a couple of games. Tyler was so durable throughout his career. Exactly. Uh, I'm just being ready. I just got to be prepared. You never know. Tyler, Tyler, you know, he played a lot of snaps. A lot of snaps. And I'm, I'm surprised how, like, he was able to finish the season how he did. You know, he finished off for the great season. Usually people will get banged up and then gone for the rest of the season, but just, I'm just ready. I was just ready for Tyler whenever he needed a sub or anything, because I know he put in the work and all that, and he's really tired and stuff like that, but I'm just, I was just ready to get my so, name called. With him gone and the opportunity that's there, what's this fall camp mean to you? Well, just, I like this pressure, really. Um, I know I got big shoes to fill in, you know, Tyler, he was a ball hawk. So, I just, I, to this day, I still talk to him. Like, after practice, I just, like, every other day, because I know he's busy, but I, like, I give him a phone call, tell him about, like, things I messed up on, seems like the stuff I did goes on. And then um, he just explains to me from his point of view, not the coaches, because coaches have a different point of view from them certain things. And he just helps me, like, with my technique, plays, how to guard certain things, stuff like that. What's the biggest thing you learned from him? From him, technique technique and being a ball hawk. You, uh, you think with uh, Avery on the other side, you know, kind of an experienced veteran guy, the teams might challenge you uh, a lot, especially early in the season? I hope so. I hope they challenge me. I'm ready for that. But, yeah, I'm ready for that. You, 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 played, you played a good amount of special teams, right? Yes. I think, was it uh, Wyoming? Kickoff, punt, oh, Wyoming, Wyoming. You, you recovered the punt, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I mean, obviously that was one of the highlights of special teams last yes. year. How, how much have you guys – Focused on that sort of thing, you know. Oh, we focus on special team all the time. Yeah, yeah. How, how is That's it, a big emphasis. How is it different? I know, obviously, with Lee running it and all that stuff. How does it um, feel different this year? It's not that much of a difference. We're just gonna put the best eleven out there. Whoever's giving the most effort and best technique, we're gonna just gonna get well, put out there. You, and John Hightower, might be out trying to block punts <laughs> again. Yeah, you know. It. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. We're gonna try our best. Asking a couple of the receivers, you know, to describe you as a player. They said, you know, you're real, real aggressive at the line. You're real physical. Yes, what, what, what is kind of your style of play out there? So, well, back home, well, if you talk to a lot of people, they'll, they'll tell you that I'm a really aggressive person. But I'm also goofy as well. <laughs> I turn that switch off when I'm on the field. Like, so for me, I like pressing at. The, like, Avery likes playing off, but we're going to get him to press this up a little more. I got to start playing off a little bit. <laughs> but Coach Brown, he always gets me about being too aggressive. But me being aggressive, I feel like that's the dog in me that, that shuts everything down. That really helps me on the field. And I feel like you have to have that switch as a corner. And, you know, he's joking that all defensive players like to tr- trash talk and stuff. But Kala did say you're a guy that, uh, you know, like, oh, yeah. likes to talk uh, a little bit. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, I got a little mouthpiece on me. <laughs> Especially if things going my way. Oh yeah, you're gonna hear me. You must definitely hear me. <laughs> is that a, you have to be confident though in your position, oh, right? Yes, sir. A lot of one -on -one you gotta be humble as well. You have to, because you could talk mess one play, next play get beat. Talk what you talk for. Exactly. <laughs> How do you balance talking trash with being humble at the same time? You gotta ah. <laughs> Trust your technique and know that your technique will get you that win every time on a one-on-one. Let's wait for the clock. Uh, right. can, you, can you try to adequately describe your relationship with Curtis? Uh, that's my little brother. Okay. <laughs> Man, we've been together since freshman year. That's crazy. I'm proud of him for everything he did. Though. Like, our relationship, like, we're, like, we're this. Yeah. We're like this. What do you two like out there? Because he, he, he's, he's told me multiple times that it's just you two are... The ones usually, and Avery throw him in a little bit, but you two are always the ones that are yeah, getting people laughing, getting people whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're also the goofy, the goofy ones on the field, but, like, we the headhunters, too. Like, we, we be trying to pick out, like, who did, like, oh, yeah, he did that last play? Oh, yeah, we're about to get him. <laughs> is, is, that, is that, like, you know, I mean, with him, too, you mentioned that switch. What is, mm -hmm. what, what is it like? Oh, yeah, Curtis got that dog in him. Yeah. I know you've seen it. Yeah. yeah. He got that dog in him as well. I just, ah, uh, you just got to be built like that, to yeah. be honest. He's got to be built like that. What impresses you most about him?